Hi folks, this morning I published a piece played with a theater organ with the illustrious name Leaning on a Lamppost. It's a funny piece, a joyous piece, but also a bit loud. And I got a question about it. I got a question, do you still get along with your neighbors because you are recording so frequently um, and it's incredibly loud for them? And I thought, it isn't. They don't hear anything. So maybe it's fun um, to take you with me in a behind the scene video um, so I can show you how I make my YouTube videos. So that's how we're gonna do. First of all, the sheets. Sometimes I play with an iPad, but if I have more than two uh, uh, um, papers, then I uh, prefer the, uh, the real uh, paper uh, thing. Um, so first I get a piece and I print it over there. Um, first step. Next step is to set up my cameras. I have two. It's the first one. It's an iPhone uh, 13 Pro. And here's another one. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. It's an iPhone um, 12 and uh, for the pedals. And um, I'm currently filming with an iPhone 11 Pro. So I have an 11 Pro, a 12 and a 13 Pro. That's the cameras. Then we have the console. I've told you earlier, is this an organ? No, it isn't an organ. It's a console. It doesn't do anything from its own. It can't make any sound. So can you compare this with an organ? Mm, no. Um, I think um, it is better to compare uh, um, that with this. With this, this English. Um, as a matter of fact, the console is a big keyboard. Um, of course, it's connected with MIDI um, to a computer. And it is a very clever design because all manuals, all buttons, all pedals and all uh, uh, other gear has to work together um, to steer the computer. So it's a big keyboard, so you can say it. Um, as a matter of fact, um, um, it can be made uh, at the same uh, 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 way to play uh, um, electro uh, pneumatical organ. Um, so um, that's the console. Then the computer. I have a touch screen, it's over here, and a computer with a sound card. So I plug in the console to the sound card. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. A Moto, Moto M4. Um, and the sound card goes into the computer. Um, why do you need an external sound card? That's because Windows has too, fail, too, too much latency. It's the same with Mac, but uh, uh, Windows has even more latency. A latency is, uh, um, it is if, you, if you push the key, um, then you want the sound immediately come up, not three seconds later. Uh, that's latency. So um, the external sound card um, prevents that latency. So it's very important in, uh, in the setup. Um, as I told you, this does nothing. Um, so first I have to switch on my computer. So just push the button. The console is connected with the computer. So um, no computer, no console. So as a matter of fact, it, it's, it's pretty much the same as a keyboard. So my computer is starting up now. Um, Pretty quick. I can switch the camera while recording and I try to make this in one tag. Here you can see my uh, uh, screen. 
you see a lot of pictograms that are all recordings. Uh, next thing I have to do is to open Hopework. And Hopework, Hopework is the um, advanced software that makes it possible to play all these magnificent organs. Um, here is the program. Um, don't let my wife see all the organs that I have. Don't tell her. Um, these are all my organs. So I now just have to select um, a sample set. And what is a sample set? A sample set is uh, a collection of sounds, with sound recordings in wave format, made from real organs. So each pipe is recorded individually, um, most of the time four times or even more, uh, uh, short, so boop, long, um, from a, a distance, from close, by, from a, a, a mid-church, uh, it can be uh, uh, um, um, from everywhere in the church. So that's quite a an, an, an difficult and, and costly process because a big organ can have about 5,000 or 6,000 pipes. So you can imagine you need a big computer and a lot of intern memory because all the sample sets um, have, to, have to be stored in the, in, the, in the working memory from your computer because they have to be ready if you push a, a key. But um, let's select an organ. Um, let's select the organ I um, um, tried yesterday. It's the Paramount 320. Um, the loading uh, process is um, pretty quick. You can see it doesn't cost a lot of time. And when it's loaded, this one works. Um, you can see all the stops. It, it's quite, quite uh, uh, difficult, uh, uh, um, a theater organ about registrations. But um, if you want to learn more about registrations and theater organs, I guess you have to ask uh, Fraser Garchoy. He knows far more than I do. Um, so these are the registrations. Still, I have no sound. Most of the time I play and record with my headphones. But that's not nice for now. So I also have a couple of speakers over there. So maybe I can turn them on and maybe we can hear uh, something. Um, okay, let's turn it on. It's still quiet. But first we have to choose a registration. And I have uh, um, put up the registrations in a memory. Uh, so I only have to click. Um, yeah, and it's stored over there. And maybe we have sound. Let's try it out. It's a bit soft. Organist loves loud music. So, a bit louder. That works. That works. And it works. So, suddenly, this... Um, computer, machine, keyboard comes alive, because this is alive, and now we can play. Um, so, I'm going to sit down, um, and not only the, um, the manuals work, but of course, also the pedals. And all buttons. Even the fun buttons, like this one. No. Oh, can you see it? No, 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 no. No. Yeah. That's a fun button. I can all program all this, all, uh, all these kinds of buttons together with these buttons. So, that's um, my setup. So we are right. Um, now I only have to push the recording buttons from, uh, I only take uh, 
the the yeah where is it there that one and then we go further so i stop this one and i put on the other camera so i have to F face id doesn't work because i'm selling too long so i have to put in a security code uh, i start the video he's recording already so um, I stop this one and I go further with the other one. Come right back, back to you. Hello. Um, sitting on my desk uh, and um, it's a bit dark, so I have a lamp for my pedals. And um, let's see if it's working. Everything is working. So that's nice. Um, now I have to, to play something. Um, now, just for fun, a, 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 a short piece from the piece that I've uploaded. to record this I don't need any microphones I just hit the recording button so and now the computer is registrating everything that I play so um, oh try to play but it doesn't do anything I first have to choose I said registrations. So if I call a play, then it's recording. And it's, uh, it keeps recording until I say um, stop. And then it's saved. And um, the nicest thing, you can listen it back, of course. So. If I uh, um, want to listen back, um, oh, then I have to first get uh, a recording. I um, I get the recording from yesterday. Uh, let me have a look. And it's this one. And if I push the <coughs> play button, then it starts to play. It is exactly the same what I have done here, inclusive uh, uh, getting the right um, registrations. See, it's a, a bit loud. So, it was my recording from yesterday. Um, and yeah, the speakers are sounding okay, but using the headphones makes it far more nice to, uh, to listen to. Of course, you have, can have very expensive speakers and it will sound better. But these are uh, regular studio monitors. Okay, you get the message. So, it's recorded, 
in wave format, in high def wave format. So a piece from three or four minutes will be, I think, uh, 200, 250 uh, um, megabyte of, uh, of data. Um, USB stick, stick it in the computer. Oh. Over here. Save it. And uh, I can take away. So, here is my sound file in WAV format. Then I have to get my iPhone. So, wait a moment. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got it here. And then we go to my MacBook Pro, which is my editing machine. Let's put this one off. Um, it's a brand new monitor. So, let's do it. so yeah. Um, oh, there's uh, uh, another uh, my iPad. Um, I stick my USB stick in a computer, lay it next to it, and um, I have to uh, um, transfer the video file to the computer. Put it on. Then we go to my editing program. I have a, a rather um, simple program. It's called uh, Movavi Video Editor 2000. Um, 22. And then um, you have to, uh, to edit your pieces. So here I have the video, the video from, from yesterday. Um, here I have the sound file, the WAV file. And here I have a nice picture. So, and what you have to do is to putting it all together. So my video, my sound file and a picture and um, I have used a color filter to look at, uh, a bit uh, brighter, a bit nicer. Um, the difficulty of this process is you have to sync your playing with the sound file. And I have to do that manual. Um, there are uh, uh, more expensive programs um, where you can do that automatically, but I have to do it myself. Um, so you have to, uh, to figure out um, where, it, uh, um, where, the, where you can have to put the sound file. And then you can check, is it okay? We have no sound. That's rather strange. Oh, we have no sound because I've uh, uh, released that from the, um, from, the, from the USB port. So, um, now, if all works together, um, then um, I add a picture, then you can add um, titles. I love to make my titles in the uh, video itself and um, um, make a nice end to it. If you don't, of, of aren't pleased about the sound, you can do a bit of, of working on the sound. There's an equalizer. Um, but most of the time, I don't use it. If you see this recording, um, it's flat. So um, that means I'm satisfied about the quality of, um, of the sound. Um, sometimes I tweak the lower um, a bit down because sometimes I uh, think that the pedal sounds too hard, some um, out of balance. So if I use the equalizer, it's only to, uh, to balance the sound a bit out. Okay, then we are done. So we have a video file, um, a high def WAV file, um, and the title. Then I click on um, make a, a video, and then I give it a name, and most of the time I uh, uh, save it as an MP4, a format that, uh, um, YouTube um, once, um, and um, I use the uh, HD quality. Um, it also can done, uh, can be done in in 4K, but that costs 
another uh, 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 enormous uh, amount of time um, um, for editing, for saving and for uploading to YouTube. So I don't use that. So if I done this, then um, all is come together and it's uh, on my desk and I have here the file. Here it is. So, and if you have the file, you only have to go to, uh, to YouTube over here. Here it is, still open. Um, upload it and add some text, links or whatever. And uh, um, um, I uh, and publish it directly or in a premiere or uh, later. Um, in this case, um, I have made the video uh, yesterday evening and released it this morning at seven o'clock. Um, and then we're going. So that's the process of making a video with um, how to work, uh, the way how I do it. So I hope you liked this one. Let me know. Um, and if you have any questions, um, please um, um, ask them. And I shall put the link of this piece uh, um, um, under in the text from, uh, from this video. So you can, uh, you can have a break. And it is of course the same if you use an, uh, uh, um, um, a church organ, Alessandria or, or whatever, um, and uh, a theater organ. The process is, is the same. Um, sometimes I use the pedal cam and then I have uh, not one video stream, but two to sync. Um, and that's a lot of work. So most of the time I skip that. So. That was a little behind the scene video about my making movies and videos. I hope you like it and um, speak to you next time. Bye bye.